Welcome back to the tournament of the 1980s for Out of the Park Baseball. This is our seventh episode into the round of 32. In fact, we're going to see the conclusion of the round of 32. So welcome for those of you on board. Looking forward to some good games. We'll switch to the tournament view. We are down to... What are we down to? We're down to 20 teams remaining. We have four Game 7s to play out today, all of which include world champions. So four of them are fighting for their lives. We've already lost two. We lost the 86 Mets, top team in the tournament, top seed in the tournament. We also lost the 81 Dodgers on the right side of the screen. All the other champs have made it through. And just to give you a quick picture, it's tough. To, unfortunately, it doesn't have the the years of these teams on here, but at the conclusion of today, we'll, we'll see how it all recedes, and we'll also see how the, the round of 16 looks. Here are the games we have on the plate today. Again, all game sevens. The 87 Giants, 82 Cardinals are going up. We'll, we'll watch them first, followed by the 84 Cubs traveling to Kansas City for the 85 Royals. Eckersley is going to get the start, and he's hoping to pitch twice today. Uh, in his mind, getting a save for his 89 A's, who are hosting the 89 Blue Jays. And then finally, we have the 82 Braves going up against the 88 Dodgers, the famous 88 Dodgers, also fighting for their lives. So we'll see how many, uh, if any, of our World Series, World Series champions we lose today. We're going to jump into this first game. Again, Giants and Cardinals, and I need to remind myself over and over again, do not let this simulate in the background, because that would be sad if we wouldn't get to watch the other games. Make sure we got everything else in place. We're going to be going to Old Bush Stadium, and we should be set here. OSA loves the Giants to upset these Cardinals. Dravecki had a very strong year. He was, this was the year he got traded from the San Diego Padres. And I can't see his stats, but the way he's been performing so far in this tournament. Um, but it's love in their lineup as well. So it's actually favoring the upset over the world champion St. Louis Cardinals. But there's a reason why we got here, 3-3. Three to three, So anything can happen. We'll see what Ozzie Smith and the Cardinals can do to... Uh, in a weird way, pull off the upset, I guess. I mean, in many ways, they're the favorites, but... 87 Giants have given them all they can handle. Off we go. Take a look at just kind of see some of the basic stats up here. Who's, uh, who's really carrying things. It's very strange to see Kevin Mitchell hitting so far down the lineup. 89 was his big year. He's hit eighth for these Giants. So the Giants are out in the first, and the Cardinals get right to work. Ozzy Smith with a walk, and Willie McGee with a single. Ozzy's running. He steals third. Becky gets Lonnie Smith. And the is going to be safe. myself there. And that's a huge hit for Keith Hernandez. Safe at home, three nothing. And another hit. No run score. Oh, oh, jeez. They're gonna knock Trevecki out in the first. Five nothing. That'll do it. The Cardinals bat around. Open this one up huge right away. Redley strikes out. Giants are suddenly hurting. Didn't take long at all. Got any rooting interests out there? Hopefully there's no Giants fans out there. You're probably crying at this moment. Got a 
Cardinals fans. If so, you're happy. If you're a Cardinals fan, you're thinking, all right, can't wait, we're gonna pull off this win here, and then we're gonna go watch the Cubs lose. Probably Will Clark, bases loaded, trying to get the Giants back into it. Not to be. Becky's still in the game, trying to see if he can a little read for him. Couple of line outs, two out for Brookville. And it turns out to be a good move, even in. Giants missed a golden opportunity in the third inning. Kelly Maldonado has had a tough series, just in 222. Although this is, uh, not, this will be just like both of their series. First and third, no out. Marlon's on the walk. And we're loaded for Chili Davis. Another big opportunity for the Giants to come back. Giants on the board with a wild pitch and still more opportunities to drive in runs. Is that gone? It's gone. Kevin Mitchell gets the Giants right back in the game. Cardinals huge lead. Suddenly looking in peril. Milner with a walk. Thompson's over for Milner's in the second now. Pretty big damage done by the Giants. Right back in this. Cardinals get back to work. Single error, so Dan Green's on second to lead off. Uh, so Dan out to center. Hit 393 so far this tournament. Early for the Cardinals. This is just their seventh game. Well, is it early or is it late? We don't know. But pick up another run on Ryan Smith RBI. That'll do it for Dravecki. Lee Hamaker, long-time starter for the Giants. Not a relief, although he probably started that year. He was the fifth starter. Will Clark missed the clutch opportunity earlier. He needs to pick his team up. And he's on a second time. Brenly, who had a big walk last inning, and that's going to be a double play. Work for the Cardinals, Daryl Porter, lead off single. Bergfeld flies out. Do it, Giants. who had a huge home run a few innings ago, and that gonna fall? No, it's not. Sand it. Bottom of the sixth. Cardinals will continue to stretch, stretch into a lead. Smith starting to cool down. But if you look at the top of this order, that's really what's been carrying them. Only with another hit. He's gonna steal it. The Cardinal way, he's going three. A lot of offense generated by the top of the order and the car by the Cardinals in this series. Bruce Sanderson. Very early. If they're using him as a stopper or if they have someone else. Suter's out of the seventh. We'll see how long they take him. It doesn't look like he has the stamina for three innings. Based on 89 settings. That was an error. Look at his lineup. Because he's not there. No matter. Hammerker pitches over. He's gone three and a third of perfect balls so far. He needs some help. And Will Clark's on for the first time to lead it off. The Giants have four errors. Didn't even 
last time. Don't know how many of the ones that's up to. But Suter's still cruising. It's hit deep and caught. And a dive by the left fielder, Lonnie Smith. That looked like it may have carried out, but he's sinking. He's, and they got the grab. So three more outs. We'll see if Bruce Suter comes back out for the ninth. He's starting to tire. Cardinals can make his life easier with an extra run. And Don Robinson, favorite of mine, coming in to hold this lead. And it looks like he will. So I got McGee Smith. Or, I'm sorry, that's the, that's the Cardinals. We got Shirley Davis, Kevin Mitchell, and Eddie Miller coming in for the ninth. Doug Taylor. I know him to be the closer. I thought Suter was closer on this team. What do I know? That'll do it. The Cardinals world champions of 19-2. Breathe a big sigh of relief and are moving on to the round of 16. We'll see who they face after the rest of these series close out. If uh, those of you newer to this series, we reseed after every round. So while I did show you a big giant bracket, it's not actually uh, how it's playing out. So Dravecki takes the loss, his first loss, and only loss of the tournament, after uh, getting hammered in the first inning. Murrow didn't pitch fantastic, and he's got a 12, 13 ERA now, but manages to pull his pull off his first win. Suda with a huge hold, Bear with a save. Uh, Bayer, Bear, sorry. Um, Cardinals did a nice job of spreading out the base runners. Everybody got on. No homers, typical... Triple Cardinals fashion, a couple steals, just one double, just uh, that big rally just carried them all the way. Kevin Mitchell had a big game, home run and a single. Those errors, how many? Yeah, that's right. How many of those errors, How many of those runs were unearned? No, they were just one of them. So, but pretty poor defensive showing. So that'll do it for the '87 Giants, and I think the '89 Giants are out too. Can't remember actually. Um, we'll find out soon enough. So that's it for game one. Game two is the Cardinals' rival, Cubs of 84, traveling to Kansas City. Dennis Eckersley, the starter Dennis Eckersley, will be pitching in this one. Let's jump in. All right, making sure we still got this off. Okay, I thought it stayed off. OSA likes the Cubs, but not by a lot. This one looks really close, even the kind of even all the matchups. I guess Dernier has a big advantage over Lonnie Smith at the leadoff spot. After that, it gets pretty. I guess uh, Leon Durham big advantage over Steve Balboni at first. Other than that, pretty even. Even the starting pitchers, Buddy Black against Dennis Eckersley. This uh, I did not know Buddy Black was a left-handed pitcher. I thought he was a right-handed pitcher, but. Okay, I don't know lots of things. All right, game two of game seven. That makes any sense. All right, last time I played Royal Stadium in this game, it looked like we were playing on the moon. I fixed it. Royal Stadium has re-landed on planet Earth. Junior is on to lead off the game. Get Matthews and Sandberg. Durham's going to try and do some damage, but nope, Black is out of the first. Time for the World Champion Royals. It's a deep to center, but caught by Dernier. There's the ball to Brett. Brett's on fire. 478 in the series. This is their first series they've played. There's the Cubs. Ronsay's been big, Keith Morland's been big, Davey Lopes has been big. Not this inning, they go 1-2-3 against Buddy Black. He's having a fine series so far with an ERA under two. Eckers is also off to a pretty good start. He needs to make sure he saves his arm for the uh, 89 A's that are playing later today. Mm -hmm. 
comes on with a triple. But Frank White's not going to be able to get him in. So Eckersley has out of the second. Back up to the Cubs. Jordan Davis is going to fly out. Last game, he Cubs fans. That's deep. And Larry Boas going yard. 15 career home runs. The big one in game seven against the World Champion Royals. And Dernier's on again. He was always a nuisance in real life. Big stolen base threat as once again proves there. And it looks like they're going to be able to manufacture a run. And we need to do that. He'll just be gifted the run by a wild pitch. And Sandberg's out again. So any Cubs or Royals fans out there? I was kind of a Royals fan for a couple of years. Fed up with the White Sox to the degree where I just couldn't take it anymore. And I needed like a... Okay, who do I want to kind of like sort of cheer for? Fantasy team at the time, fantasy baseball team. And it was Dynasty, so I had tons of Royals prospects. Guys like Alex Gordon and Mike Moustakis. And, uh, there was a few other ones I can't remember. I was too much uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to be a Royals fan. The Royals were always terrible. Uh, the Royals were like, the Royals were Moreland is on with two outs. Mechanics dead in the lead. These Royals need to get to work if they want to stay in this tournament. World Series champs just gets you through one round for free. That's it. Got to earn your way in this tournament all the way. That wins five rounds if you're a World if you're one of the World Series champs. And that's it. Eckersley's pitching a gem so far. Three hits and a walk through four. No runs. Davis and Frank White's going to pump him over. Cubs see, see if they can just get one run at a time here. Not this time. Eckersley back to the mound. Frank White's on. Does not work with the lead runner. And maybe Wilson having a really tough series. No under 200, just one ball in Pierce. 426 OPS. Ugly. Alright, apparently no Royals fans, no Cubs fans. And Durham's on. It's Buddy Black. It's Ryan Say. And always hit righties or lefties really well. George Brett needs to get something started. Cannot. They've been really reliant on him so far in the playoffs. And they need somebody else to help. They are getting shut out by Eckersley. Oops, I forgot to move myself again. Sorry about that. Always forgetting. Black has been admirable. Seven strong, two runs, five strikeouts. Can't really complain. He's got to start complaining about these Royals bats. Sunberg's going to be on with extra base hits. We go three hits. Too many triples. Frank White can't get him in. Does get him over. Omar Moreno lines out. To the shortstop, that's a pitch It's the home run and a key grab there. So this one's going very quickly. The Cubs fans are probably quite anxious, but at the same time, they're feeling very good. Some more outs for the Royals, top of the order against Eckersley. Strikes first strikeout for Eckersley. Gets Willie Wilson looking and gets Brett again. He's working on a five hit shutout, 110 pitches. We'll see if they stick with him in the ninth or if they'll go to Lee Smith. Do not worry, the 85 Royals don't have Steve Brett. That's deep and Moreland. 
as his fifth home run of this tournament. Gotta be one of the leaders. We will look at the leaders again at the end of the four games. I would think that Moreland's up there, if not at the top. I don't remember seeing anyone else before. Balboni gets one back for the Royals, and their fans are excited. They did stick with Eckersley. Now we'll see if they continue to so. Two more runs needed by the Royals to stay alive. They do go to Lee Smith. And that's a base hit for Helmut Gray. The time run is up to bat. And double play. And Lee Smith strikes out Sunberg, and they're moving on. We have our third World Series champion eliminated, and it's the 85 Royals. So the Cubs, if they lost their uh, 89 team in this round, but they are they still have one team in the race. 84 Cubs were quite a good team. Lost just to a big comeback to the 84 Padres in real life, but uh, it's fitting that Eckersley went eighth because you know they wanted to save him. So we're going to see him. We may see him pitch again if the A's uh, get into a save situation. Lee Smith's got, he saved, uh, or actually this is their second series, so he saved four games across uh, both of their series in this tournament. Who is our MVP? Uh, George Brown, of course. Yeah, but uh, not today. He was able to draw a walk, but ended up getting, uh, actually, no, it was McCray that got, I thought it was McCray that got the walk. Someone got a walk in the ninth to, uh, no, it wasn't a walk. It was McCray got the single to right. Um, but George Brett couldn't carry his team. Didn't get a ton of help. Jim Sundberg had a good series. Lonnie Smith had a good series. But Willie Wilson, Hel or, uh, Jorge Orta, and Frank White, not good. So that's it for the Royals. We're going to flip over to game three. And if we've got any Blue Jays and A's fans, it's your turn in game three of four. Another game seven. Mike Flanagan against Bob Welsh. This is a complete mismatch on paper, and these two teams played in real life in 1989 in the ALCS, and it was a complete whitewash by the A's. But this time, the Blue Jays have put up quite a fight, and it's so weird to see McGuire hitting seventh. I, he had a, I did not realize how down of a year he had in 89 until I started watching this tournament. So, AI doesn't love him. I guess I wouldn't either. Um, they still had quite a loaded lineup, though. And uh, Welsh and Dave Stewart sitting at the top of that rotation. Meanwhile, Blue Jays bring in McGriff, Gruber, and Bell. Ernie Witt was still going pretty strong in those days. Manny Lee's a ranger in my game. And OSA still likes the A's, not as quite as much as um, kind of it appeared in real life. We still know down here. So we're going to uh, we're going to Oakland, the Coliseum. Now this team would have been thought to be one of the favorites, the three seed, and Junior Felix goes yard right off the bat against Bob Welsh. This team needs business. They want revenge for the real life. LCS. And Welsh uh, responds that he's appreciate the bat flip by Junior Felix. Felix, and he goes ahead and pegs his teammate. Nelson Liriano. Griff strikes out. Ted Gruber had a pretty good year in 89. He actually hit a better year in 90. In any case, he flies out in this tournament, and Mike Flanagan is going to go to work against this Vaughn today's lineup. Ricky Henderson hitting second. Very interesting. Dave Parker flies pretty deep to left, but Flanagan's out of the first. Probably not going to see him strike anybody out, or many out with that four uh, stuff rating. Ernie Witt is on the double. What is going on? Pretty sure when I first posted that I was going to do this on Twitter, I asked if any 
anyone who had any bets or whatever in terms of who was going to win this tournament. I'm sure I got were three votes. One was for the 81 Expos. They got knocked out right away. One for the 86 Mets. They got knocked out right away. And one for this 89 A's team who are in danger. Walsh decides not to hit Felix in the head and instead decides to strike him out. Liriano's on with an error. Walsh gets a bat. Alright, Mays have yet to get a base runner. Start with McGuire. He sends it deep to center, but not enough. Dave Henderson hitting eighth. Mike Gallego, did you see the one on the field? It's a good one on the right. Lansford does not get it on. It's one of these numbers in these ratings. I guess it does make sense that he's the... Perhaps he's the speed factor. Blue Jays threatening again. Fernandez is going to try and drive in a run here or two or three. But... Oh, that was dropped. Oh, no, that was, sorry, that was, that was a one out. I was tagging up going through. Jays do not score in the fourth. Flanagan still pitching a beauty. Just one hit in three innings so far. Pitching to contact. And that's caught as well. Seiko had a big year. Oh, there it goes. I mentioned I didn't see anyone else hitting five home runs. There you go. And Seiko with his fifth. And he's only had one series to do it. They did not play in the preliminary round, given they were, they were World Series participants. So Seiko gets some extra credit for doing it in fewer games, and he's tied it for the A's. Is 80 or 44 here. Griff's going for three. A's probably feel a little bit of confidence from that Conseco home run. Seeing if they can take a lead here. That's a hit for Dave Henderson. There he goes to ground to a double play to end that threat. And we've got a good, another good one. Both games already have been pretty good. It looked like they were going to have a blowout in the first game, but the Giants made a good one of it. And since then, they've been close as well. Tony Fernandez really struggling. Playoffs. His tournament is 205. And he has not been struggling. He's been dealing with a back stiffness. Moderate back stiffness. Still playing. Lansford's over three. Let's see if Ricky's running here. It seems like a decent time to do it. Dave Parker, better idea. Go, go first and third. Seiko not driving that run. It's up to Terry Steinbach. Who does? And, oh, we got a run down. He's out of the third. So, Henderson scores. Suddenly the A's are feeling a little better about themselves. The team block goes to the lead off in the seventh. And takes care of a double. Junior Felix gets, uh, clears the bases here with a double play. Welsh looking strong as well. Tony Phillips having a strong tournament so far. McGuire with his first hit of the game, really struggling. And we, he goes to second on the throw. And Manny Lee made it here, probably that back. We got a rally all of a sudden. Gallego hits it into the corner. Wires gonna score. Dave Henderson scores. Five to one. David 
Stupid Mills is in the game. And it's another hit that is deep breath for the A's, I think. They have a pretty big lead. They may even be able to rest Eckersley, who's been flying from Kaufman or Royal Stadium, sorry, out to out west. Cinco with another hit. Steinbach is on with an infield hit. They can end it right here. Blue Jays get out of it. Glimmer of hope. Just that. Tons of work to do. Oh, that's a start. Gotta have some base runners. And there's two. Start gotta wonder when they're gonna pull Welsh. And he's just walked the bases loaded. Two walks out of three. Walks another one. Okay, Larusa. I know you've been kind of getting some criticism in Chicago 30 years later about just the right things happen. This appears to be one of those moments. Still going with Welsh. And get the force at home. That's it. This is a big at bat for Mosby. Here's Eckersley. He made it to the stadium, got dressed in his A's uniform, and gets out of a really tough eight inning. The Blue Jays gotta be kicking themselves. And they get three walks in a row. Could do more of it. I'm not sure who's over there, but somebody's over there. Last chance for the Blue Jays. The A's are hoping to escape here. And Felix goes yard again. That's his fourth of the tournament. He's had over a thousand OPS before that moment. You see if Eckersley hits Leary. Leary pops out. George Bell's going to ground out. Last chance for the Blue Jays is Fred McGriff. And he strikes out Eckersley. Should get credit for a save there because he came in with the bases loaded. It's the win for the Cubs and the save for the A's, just as I thought it could end up being. Yep, he does get a save for that. So, in our, our World Series, our not World Series, our series MVP is Jose Canseco, of course, with the five home runs and 11 RBI, 357 average. He probably walked a ton, too, given the intentional walks. I can't see, but we'll assume he did. Huge series. McGuire, his fellow Bash brother, needs to... Get it going here. Dave Parker hitting third in this lineup. Also had a tough series. So did Ricky Henderson. Henderson lit up the Blue Jays in real life in that series. So maybe he just needed to get warmed up. But your A's are moving on. We have one more game for you. The Braves and the Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers who took out the vaunted 88 A's are also fighting for their lives. So Braves won in seven games last time. I don't remember who they beat. I want to say they beat the 89 Cubs. Uh, I believe that's right. No, that's not right. I don't know who they beat. Um, we'll have to go look that one up. But right now, it's can they get on to the round of 16 against the Dodgers? So here's our last game of the round of 32. Okay, we're still, it doesn't even matter now. We could simulate in the background. I'll say, yeah, sure, simulate in the background now. All right, loves the Braves as far as the lineup's concerned. We got Rick Mailer going up against Oral Hirschheiser, and that does appear like a mismatch. Mailer was nothing bad or anything, but Hirschheiser, this was his 57-something inning scoreless streak. 23 wins, 2.26 ERA. So what the Dodgers like in their bats, they are hoping for just a shutout, basically, for Hershiser. Do have Kirk Gibson, of course. It's on my 90s or 1990 Rangers team. Any of my other players in here? Greg Glenn Hubbard, I had for the Padres in '84. My other, my other sim. That'll be it. So this is a classic pitching versus hitting. Type of matchup. Dale Murphy was the MVP in 82. That's hard to see. That's good. Okay. 
they don't have a wide load. Off we go. Jerry Royster's out. One, two, three. Pitching just as well so far in the tournament as he did in real life. Pitched in strong. One run. Maybe there maybe it's two runs. Thought it was two runs. Dodgers up. Shelby's out. Hero Kirk Gibson is out of the No, he did just give up one run in that first start. Which is terrible for him. He made one run. That's just a Anderson is really on this team. How about that? Dempsey flies out. Flying through the first two innings here. Orioles perfect for three. Strikeout, Shelby. Miller's got to get Gibson here to keep the game scoreless. Looks like he's going to get him. Oh, the fourth. Look, Hirsch has her go. Well, look, well down. Mailer's been pretty good himself. A couple of walks, or one walk. A couple, one inch by error. And very quickly, we are into the fifth. And there's your first hit of the game. Look at two hits of the game. Braves suddenly looking like a threat. Big out. And Glenn Mother Hubbard is going to drive in the first round of the game against Hersheiser. And they still have first and third with one out. Two nothing Braves. And that happened with Hersheiser. Oh my goodness, another one. Now we're loaded for Jerry Royster. And this may be a sack fly. He's going to take home. And he is safe at home. Need a nothing. Oh boy, Dale Murphy shows why he's the MVP, and Hershiser went from perfect four to probably knocked out of the game. Yes, knocked out of the game. The Cinderella 88 Dodgers now really do need a miracle. Dempsey's on, that's the start they needed. It takes second. Actually, that was Mailer's no-hitter as well, uh, taken care of. And looks like the Braves have a run here with their poor defense so far in this game. Dodgers are looking for one more run. They're not going to get it. Still just the one hit. On. As far as the offense for the Braves, it's been pretty even. Dale Murphy definitely carrying the load, but there's no one that's doing truly poor. So it's been a balanced attack. Got a pretty decent starting at Don Sutton on this team. Baylor's not bad either, he's their third starter. Doing pretty well today. Still just the one hit for the Dodgers. Make it two. Franklin Stubbs on. They need a big rally. That's not a big rally. Six to one Braves. This could be our 
only blowout of the day. So. Harper's on. And Murphy's gonna fly out this time. Ball game. I got rid of the roll out the barrel for those of you who were getting severe there because I was getting severe. If I'm ever the Brewers in one of my sims, then I'll be sure to make that pull in some of those. Right now I'm more interested. Let's pop out Steve Sacks. Will me driving a run here. Is Dempsey going to get around? He will. 6 to 2. going to be a big situation for Kirk Dixon. Make it Mike Marshall. The tiny run. Mike Murray strikes out. Mayo gets him. That's seventh or seventh inning. Seventh innings. Mind my grammar. Dodgers have a lot of work to do. Not much time to do it. Just see a Roscoe in. Already lost with the 86 Mets. And he's not helping this team's case either. With the force at home. Space is still loaded. Benedict is going to drive in. Probably puts it out of reach. Crazier things have happened. But it's not looking good. Better start. Stubbs been the offensive performer. But I have to with them, so he says I'll show you. It's a fun show. Just watch it. Two outs. Three outs. Tournaments like this do funny things. Braves will look like they will have their second straight upset win. And that's going to be thrown out at home. I think that was Kirk Gibson that threw him out. But Bob Warner says, watch this. Throw him out at home. Six run lead. was going to be late covering first there, but no. Donnie Moore's in the game. Later of, I believe this is the same Donnie Moore that pitched for the A, or the Angels later on and lost them 86. This wasn't just his fault. Gibson hits a home run. Not sure why the fans are so excited. We're down by five with two outs in the ninth. But hey, if you're happy about Kirk Gibson getting a second home run, it's all good. Gotta celebrate with whatever you can. Marshall's on with a hit. Boy, would this be a crazy couple. <laughs> exactly. The Braves move on again. They're the second lowest team, lowest seeded team remaining in the tournament. Your MVP is John Shelby. Roman center. And Hirschheiser, just not the performance we expected with six earned after cruising through the first four innings, just got slammed, literally with a grand slam, in the fifth. I think it was a grand slam. No, you know what? They didn't hit a home run. That was just a whole run of singles. Uh, there was a home run. It was a three-run homer by Dale Murphy. Mailers 2-2 two and two for the tournament. And Jay Howell got hurt, but we don't really care because his team is out. You can be as you can be as injured as long as you would like. How long are you injured anyway? Wait. Oh, that's different Howell. Sorry. They had two off. Oh, you're out for two weeks, but you know what? You can rest anyway. So that'll do it for the games. Let's take a quick peek at... Well, first we're going to fast forward. Let's look at the next round. Then we'll take a look at some some stats leaders, and if anyone else has had some amazing games. Um, Junior Felix may be towards the top of that list with a two-homer performance. 
Eckersley with the win and the save today. We should get bonus points for that one. But we'll finish today so we can see the next round. Let's see. Let's do it this way. All right. We should have eight series. The third seeded 89 A's, who just won in seven, will play the, game, the team we just saw win, the 82 Braves. And we'll see these, these pitching matchups will probably get updated because these teams have another day off before they play. So there is your, your next one. One thing I'm confused about. Oh, that's right. The Tigers are still in it. The 87 Twins are going to take on the 81 Yankees. And, oh, yeah, by the way, the other thing i got to do is fix all the uh, series. Uh, ed I have to edit all these matchups because all the, ho all the home teams are backwards again, so I'm going to fix that. But uh, 87 Twins taking on the Yankees. I'd actually favor the 81 Yankees in this one. The team was really good. And the 87 Twins were kind of the upset dandy, although they upset the Tigers. The Tigers didn't really just last round as well. Moving on, the 82 Cardinals are going to go up against the 85 Blue Jays, who just took out the 81 Dodgers. So we just saw the, uh, actually, no, the 82 Cardinals had won earlier. Um, yeah, no, they, they won in Game 7. They, they beat the 87 Giants. So they survive. The, so our, our, the, it looks like the only series, no, there'll be two series. We're going to play the look at the Cardinals. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, two teams that did not win their World Series will face off here. Um, the, the Brewers from 82 taking on the really, these are two really good teams, 86 Red Sox and 82 Brewers. Harvey's Wall Bangers against the team that was just so close to winning the World Series. That one should be a very good one. And then the Cardinals get to play themselves. First time in the tournament we've seen that. Uh, so <laughs> be kind of, it'll be kind of a goofy one to watch. Um, but hey, you know, if you're a Cardinals fan, it's like, okay, I guess I'll take that. It guarantees I'm going to have at least one team in. And Cardinals actually have three teams remaining. I'm guessing they're the only team that has three. I'm not even sure if anyone else has two, to be honest. I'm kind of looking through this. Yeah, I don't, I think that's it. It's kind of hard to eyeball it, but yeah, they're the only ones that have two teams left and they actually have three. So Cardinals definitely showing their stuff in this tournament so far. So 85 against 87. Take your pick who you like better. They both lost in the World Series. And then the 83 Orioles are going to take on the 84 Cubs. That should be a good series as well. Two really strong teams, particularly the 83 Orioles. The young Cal Ripken Jr. on that one. The 80 Phillies will go up against the 88 Mets. The Phillies already beat a Mets team, I think. I don't remember which one, but I thought they beat a Mets team already. So let's see if they can do it again. Um, you know what? Actually, it wasn't. It was the 81 Phillies that I think that lost to the Mets. 81 Phillies lost to the 88 Mets. Um, so these teams have already played a series. Not, not these years, but these teams played already once. And then the 84 Tigers are going up against the... What do you want to call them? The Kingslayers, I guess? The 81 Astros who've beat the 99-win White Sox, and then, even more surprisingly, the 105-win uh, A's from... Uh, no, it wasn't 105. It was like, it was like 100 for the, the 88 A's. Um, so now they're going to try and dethrone them, who now have to be considered the huge favorite of the tournament, the 84 Tigers. No offense to the 83, Ori or eight, yeah, 83 Orioles or the 89 A's. I guess... I guess I put 89 A's and 84 Tigers as the two square favorites. So those are your matchups for the next stream, which will likely be next Saturday. And then we'll take a look at some... I have to remember how to do this. I think I go this route. No. Not scores. Statistics. Sortable statistics. Yes, this is what we want. Scope. Tournament. We want our batting stats first. Let's do... Let's get the most hits. Oops, sorry. Okay, that does not seem right. 1980s tournament. Hmm. 
Why is it doing that? If anyone knows what I'm doing wrong, put it in the chat, please. But I thought if I put this tournament in, this looks like they're like real life 1989 stats, which is definitely not what I want. If I do that, here, we'll test it. Yeah, Canseco has the five home runs. Steve only has seven. What? Yeah, Moreland. Okay, here we go. This is working. Okay, we'll come, we'll come back to that, to home runs in a second. Junior Felix with 21 hits, but the 89 Blue Jays were knocked out, so that'll be all we see from him. Steve Balboni. Which Balboni is this? The Royals of 84. They're out, though, so what a performance, but unfortunately... That's all we're going to see of him as well. So there'll be a new home run leader, very likely, by the end of the next series. Uh, who's striking out the most? That sounds fun. Mike Marshall and Dale Murphy. And Dale Murphy says, I don't care. My team is still in it, so you have as many strikeouts as you want. And then uh, Marshall is from the 83 team. They're out. Who's leading an OPS? <laughs> indiscriminate of how many at bats they have but looks like mark grace is the first like the real regular to uh, be leading i don't know if this version of the cubs are still in it nope this is the 89 cubs actually yeah grace wasn't on the 84 cubs that would make sense so and then we'll do some stolen bases see who's got uh dernier of the cubs i assume this is the cubs dernier yep 84 cubs dernier who are still in it he's got nine followed by mosby and baines no ricky henderson he's well he's way down here 80, 81 Ricky Henderson is down there. So that's your some of your hitting leaders. Let's take a look at some pitching. Wins. Anyone got four? No one's got four. Bunch of guys with three. Doyle Alexander. Rick Russell, he's still in the tournament. Scott Sanderson is still in the tournament as well. So Russell and Sanderson really uh, six of the eight wins for the 84 Cubs. Saves, Tom Hankey of the Blue Jays, probably. 85, yep. Has seven, Randy Myers with six. So oh, Myers is with the Mets, so they should be out. Yep. And what else do we want to do here? Innings, Clemens with 32. Strikeouts, Nolan Ryan and Fernando Valenzuela. To, and Clemens sitting right behind him. Who's still, Nolan Ryan, this, he's still in it, part of that. King Slayer 81 Astros team, and then Valenzuela's out. Clemens is still in, assuming this is the 80. Oh, that's the 88 Clemens, so they're out. ERA. Good job, Raleigh Fingers. <laughs> what do you got here? 81 Brewers, so he's done. That'll be his, the rest of his tournament. Okay, gonna be too hard to figure out ERA. Uh, anything else? Oh, we have, I guess I didn't realize that wins above replacement was working. So Valenzuela and Bob Welsh will be kind of your Cy Young tournament winners if we ended it today. We can do war for batting as well. I'm assuming it's going to be, uh, I forgot who had seven home runs. Did Balboni have seven home runs? <laughs> okay, so war for hitting doesn't work, but it does for pitching. Whatever. Okay. Those are some of your leaders. Let's take a look at some of the uh, the best games, if there's been any other good ones, and then we'll call it a day. What do we want to do here? Ports game performance rankings. All right, so Grace still with the top performance with that insane that insane game they had with the 82 Braves that we uh, that would have been like episode two or three. Wild one. Go watch it. Britt Burns still with the top performance against the, the Kingslayers. Almost had a no-hitter. But uh, since then, looks like Bob Welsh in the more recent series, I could just tell by the date, Bob Welsh had a five-hit shutout, shutout with 11 strikeouts, just falling short of Britt Burns' game score. Boddicker, we already saw Rick Russell with a three-hit shutout, with five strikeouts couple other shutouts in there so pretty close so big gap with the hitters with, with grace all right so that's gonna do it we're gonna 
call it a day. Let me just make sure I didn't uh, I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did. Thank you for watching and following along. You got any predictions of who's going to win this tournament? Throw it in the chat of Twitch. Throw it on the comments in YouTube once I post it. Uh, interested in what people think? Who, or it could be who you think is going to win or who you're cheering for. I got my money on the 84 Tigers. Hard to see hard to see them falling, but they they got a dangerous matchup here. The A's seem like they can beat just about anybody. So these are these are starting to get pretty fun. You're starting to see more of the actually we haven't really seen any of the kind of the we haven't seen we're not gonna see World Series champs face each other quite yet. We'll see. In fact we'll see if we do it all, just given how we've already lost three of them. They've gotta make it through a couple more rounds before that starts to happen. So, it is Saturday, and it's beautiful out in a lot of part of the country, so go enjoy yourself. I'm going to as well. It's my daughter's birthday. Have some fun. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy spring. Take care, everyone. Have a great Saturday.